Welcome to the God Project. And this reading is from, <coughs> excuse me, uh, censored 131, and it's entitled Easter. It's written by William J. Eisenman, D.D. The Passover is a memorial of the crucifixion of Jesus, who was the Lamb of God sacrificed for us. Jesus paid the penalty for our sins, which reconciled us to the Father, John 1, verse 29. According to the Bible, all have sinned, Romans 3, verse 23. And the wages of sin is death, Romans 6, verse 23. Jesus knew his future and asked the Father if he, Jesus, had to die. Might there be not another way? Take this cup from me, Luke 22, verses 42 through 44, John 18, verse 4. Jesus suffered much before the crucifixion in order to avoid sin, Psalm 69 verse 20. Jesus was crucified the day before an annual Sabbath. Remember that Hebrew days begin at sunset. A high day is an annual Sabbath. And there were two of these and the weekly Sabbath in the week that Jesus was murdered. With a little detective work and some deductive reasoning, we find that Jesus was crucified by modern reckoning on Wednesday, April 25, A.D. 31. Jesus kept the Passover with his disciples after sunset on Tuesday. And on Wednesday morning, he was captured, brought before Pontius Pilate, Jesus was tried, mocked, scourged, and then crucified at 9 a.m. Mark 15, 22 through 25, Mark 14, verse 53, and Mark 15, verse 1. Jesus died at the ninth hour, or 3 p.m the day before the first day of the second annual Sabbath, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And just before he died, when he had taken on the sins of the world and became sin, he was momentarily cut off from the Father. The Father turned his back on Jesus. And Jesus cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani! My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, verse 46, Isaiah 53, verses 9 through 10. Many believe that Jesus died of a broken heart, but in fact he bled to death as a result of the spear wound to his side, Matthew 27 verse 47 through 50. God the Father gave his only begotten Son to pay the price for our sins, John 3, verse 16. According to tradition, Jesus, a Jew, had to be buried before sunset. Jesus was buried on the preparation day before the Feast of Unleavened Bread. John 19, verse 31, and Luke 23, verse 56, which fell in that week on Thursday. Jesus did not die on Good Friday. Count! On Sunday morning, 
when the women went with their spices to the tomb, Jesus was already risen. Mark 16, verse 1, Luke 23, verse 56, Exodus 20, verses 8 through 11, and Exodus 23, verse 12, and Exodus 31, verse 15. Jesus was resurrected on Saturday at sunset, 72 hours after he died. Count. From Friday to Sunday is 36 hours. From Wednesday till Saturday is 72 hours. And Jesus understood and knew how many hours were in a day. 12 in a, in a light period and 12 in a dark period. Making up a day. Easter is a pagan holiday. The worship of the, of the goddess Ishtar. It has nothing to do with the death of Jesus. Passover is the holy day that preceded the death of Jesus, followed by the days of unleavened bread. Sunrise services, bunnies and eggs and hot cross buns, none of these have anything to do with Jesus or Christianity. They all come from paganism, adopted by the Roman Catholic Church and passed down through the ages to us. The end. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times. So you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com.